Hi Warrior Kids. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rita. Thank you for tuning in. Today, I have a very beautiful story to share with you titled Jezebel. Listen and be blessed. Once upon a time, in a land called Israel, there was a queen named Jezebel. She was known for her beauty and cunning ways. But unfortunately, she was also known for her wickedness. Jezebel was married to King Ahab, who ruled over Israel. Ahab was weak-willed and easily influenced by Jezebel. Together, they led the people of Israel away from worshipping the true God and instead introduced the worship of a false god called Baal. Jezebel was a strong believer in the power of Baal and did everything in her power to promote his worship. She built altars and temples dedicated to Baal all across the land, and she actively sought to destroy the worship of the true God. One of the most famous stories involving Jezebel is the tale of Nabathi's vineyard. There was a man named Nabath who owned a beautiful vineyard next to the palace of King Ahab. Ahab desired the vineyard and wanted to turn it into a garden. But Nabath refused to sell it because it had been in his family for generations. Jezebel saw how upset Ahab was and devised a wicked plan. She hired two scoundrels to falsely accuse Nabath of cursing God and the king. The scoundrels succeeded in their plan. And Nabath was stoned to death for a crime he did not commit. Jezebel then told Ahab the news and encouraged him to take possession of the vineyard. Ahab went to claim the vineyard, thinking he had gotten away with his wickedness. However, God sent the prophet Elijah to confront Ahab and pronounce God's judgment on him and Jezebel. Elijah prophesied that the dogs would devour Jezebel's body in the very same vineyard she had schemed to obtain. Sure enough, in the end, Jezebel's wickedness caught up with her. She met a gruesome fate when she was thrown out of a window and trampled by horses. Later, her body was eaten by dogs. Just as Elijah had predicted, the story of Jezebel serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of wickedness and the importance of staying faithful to God. It teaches us that no matter how powerful or influential a person may be, they cannot escape the judgment of God if they persist in doing evil. And so, the story of Jezebel reminds us to choose righteousness and to follow the path of goodness. For in the end, it is the path that leads to true fulfillment and happiness. After the death of Jezebel, the kingdom of Israel faced many challenges. Ahab, her husband, also met a tragic end in battle. Fulfilling another prophecy from Elijah, their wicked influence was removed, but the consequences of their actions lingered. Despite the darkness brought by Jezebel, there were still faithful people in the land. They held on to their beliefs and worshipped the true God. Even in the face of persecution, among them was a young prophet named Elisha, who succeeded Elijah. Elisha carried on the mission of restoring the faith of the people and leading them back to God. He performed miracles and acts of kindness, bringing hope and healing to those in need. Through his teachings and actions, the people began to turn away from false gods and embrace their true spiritual heritage. The story of Jezebel serves as a reminder that even during darkness, there is always hope. It teaches us about the consequences of our actions and the importance of standing up for what is right. Through the faithful deeds of Elisha and others, the land of Israel found a path to redemption and restoration. In the end, the legacy of Jezebel is one of warning and caution, urging us to resist the temptation of wickedness and to hold fast to our faith. It teaches us that righteousness and goodness will prevail even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. And so, the story of Jezebel in the Bible remains a powerful tale of the struggle between good and evil, and the triumph of light over darkness. It reminds us of the enduring power of faith, and the importance of choosing the right path in our own lives. Thank you for listening. Please like this video.
share it with your friends and subscribe to the Warrior Kids YouTube channel.